the dynamic in these letters has changed. If you go through them chronologically, the tone and the attitude was one of just depression. The disbelief that Putin was crazy enough to actually invade the entire Ukraine. Because they thought it would maybe inside the FSB, maybe Putin might just um, officially recognize Donbass, uh, march some troops around there and call it a day and call it a victory. Um, from context, it's clear that the FSB probably found out that it's not just uh, saber rattling that he uh, uh, placed 200,000 troops surrounding Ukraine, that it was actually going to be an invasion about a week prior to the invasion. That's that's what uh, it, when it appears the FSB found out. So in a week, they couldn't do anything to prepare. Um, and so there came a breaking point just recently in that tone and the sense of urgency and other communications that have not been published. That sense of urgency from the window of change is coming as a direct result of his realization based on what's the goings on inside the Kremlin where he previously thought that there's no win for Russia in this situation and there's not really an out because th this invasion has been a total failure militarily. That development that he describes in the 11th letter is what has began to cause a bit of panic inside the FSB with with a wind of change and uh, some of his um, people. So it is a movement, right? So I talked about the the mutiny that's um, already started inside the FSB right now it's 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 a secret mutiny but it's a urgent call for the west to stop putin because what he realized was that putin does have a win and he does have an out as a result of this russian invasion as horrible as it has been going on from a military perspective and that is the extermination of the Ru Ukrainian people. So Putin started with the delusion pre-invasion that he will be welcomed as a liberator of the Ukrainian people. So, you know, it was a feedback loop of their own propaganda. was just nonsensical. And their intelligence services were supporting that point of view because it was just an empty theoretical exercise because nobody thought that he would actually invade. But once Putin realized that militarily on the ground, he's going to fail. What he will, what he changed his plan to uh, as a result of realizing that the Ukrainian people will not submit to his reign and his rule in Ukraine. He has decided to change his plan, which is to simply eliminate all of the Ukrainian people that refuse to submit to him until the only people that are left do submit to him. And the big danger here is that he can accomplish that from afar, a lot of that which has already started once the, 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 the ground invasion sort of stagnated, he began to methodically destroy uh, Ukrainian cities and civilians intentionally. He's going to continue doing that. There's nothing that will stop him from doing that. Ukraine 
cannot stop him from doing that because Ukraine doesn't have um, good anti-air capabilities. Um, very few planes in the Ukrainian Air Force. And so Ukraine has been left completely exposed for from uh, sort of weapons of mass destructions that destruction that Putin can launch from afar, even like from inside Russia. So he's going to continue to level city after city after city, even if he's failing on the ground. And he's going to do everything to bring the Ukrainian people into submission. And he doesn't care how many Ukrainians will be left at that point. If there is nobody left to him, it doesn't appear to matter. He doesn't value human life. I'm sure everybody understands that. So... Um, this is what the recent big development inside the FSB involving the wind of change has been. He has, and he's written about this in these last letters, he completely now understands without any doubt that Putin is following Hitler's and Stalin's playbook, right? Hitler and Stalin were actually acting very similarly. And the information that keeps coming out from different sources, continues to um, support that position from the stuff that's happening inside Russia in terms of just society, from what he's doing, right? The, the, the big news that I posted about yesterday from a source is that he's going to be Establishing a, an alternative international tribunal. My understanding is it's a, it's a military tribunal. So that he can lay the groundwork to prepare um, his own domestic propaganda to tighten the screws on the Russian civilian population and to ensure that he keeps his power consolidated within the ranks of uh, the top people at the Kremlin that they're going to systemically start blaming the Ukrainian prisoners of war that they have captured for this impending uh, extermination of the Ukrainian civilians. I mean, all these pieces just fit. It's very simple. They're, it's not... It's not a shock to, as far as what he's been doing, to people that speak Russian, for the most part. Uh, people that understand how the Soviet Union work. Um, this is a shock to the West. 